PDF exclamation point, with how much the ML upscalers have improved their handling of elements without motion vectors, would it now be possible slash desirable for NVIDIA and AMD to release a driver level toggle for DLSS and FSR to allow ML upscaling even on games that don't natively implement it? Or if not upscaling, what about driver level MLAA? I think AMD already did that or or some variant of it. Anyway, do you think it would be possible to get decent image quality that way? Or would you, or would trying to treat the entire image without the normal background data be too prone to errors? I'd love your thoughts. Cheers, exclamation point. Uh, I'll go to you on this one, Alex, but it's interesting that we do actually have an example of this already, which is uh, Auto SR from Microsoft, which we have covered, which had variable results, but ultimately was uh, quote unquote okay slash pretty good in some scenarios. Yeah, it's only it's such a shame it's stuck to that platform. Yeah. We can't actually give it a better diagnosis and uh, go through, you know, uh, whatever. Um, but I think this is an interesting maybe the plus point that could be added into the drivers. I also agree with them. Um, as I showed in the FSR4 presentation, as well as if you just have used DLSS the last couple of years, it without, for things that don't have uh, motion vectors, it does a pretty good job. Now, the question is, we're seeing that in an image that otherwise has a lot of things with motion vectors. So the, you know, like the, the less precision that it has on the things that lack motion vectors doesn't stand out as much. But if the entire image was maybe composited in that way, maybe we'd have a lot more issues. Um, so it could be really good. It could also be really bad. Uh, (laughs) I think there may be in the future reshade versions of something that is like this. I've heard, I've maybe heard of, uh, someone behind the scenes working on something like that. Um, so it may be not even coming from NVIDIA or AMD themselves. Uh, but I think this is generally like a good idea if Microsoft can do it, NVIDIA and AMD definitely now could and it would be probably in their benefit to have it as like one of the upscaling options that is present in the driver you already have the ability to choose like um fsr scaling uh rc what does they call it rcas scaling you've got like uh on the nvidia side you've got you know the bilinear uh you know integer you know it should just be another one of those scaling options uh that the driver allows you to enable and i think it could potentially offer great experiences on the cheap you know Mm -hmm. thoughts oliver uh i mean i would like that lots of scaling already has an interesting machine learning based spatial upscaler and sony has one for ps4 software on ps5 pro there that actually interestingly has a significant performance cost Looks okay. <laughs> Obviously not yeah. anywhere close to DLSS or indeed Microsoft's Auto SR upscaler. I would really like to see that on PC available more broadly beyond just that Qualcomm chip, that Snapdragon X Elite that's so <laughs> uh, m- maligned in some quarters, but uh, but not widely available and, and perhaps not widely useful for um, certainly for desktop computer use. But I'd be more interested to see it, uh, like like I said a couple months ago, I think, uh, more interested to see it for console software, which is by its nature inherently kind of fixed in a way that this kind of technique could really improve. Whereas with PC software, I mean, outside of a few maybe limited titles, you generally have more configurability. You have more ability to improve the uh, visual outcome there, improve the resolution, obviously, in a way that's not really possible for console software. So for me, I'm really interested in its use, in particular for kind of these fixed software packages on console that you can't really right. adjust right i'm intrigued by uh, this reshade thing you're talking about alex because um if we look at auto sr there are weaknesses to it the hard for example is going to be every you know basically the machine learning will be based on a 2d image right mm-hmm. it has no concept of the components of that image so in auto sr for example there are things you need to be aware of hud elements can look a bit weird um, if you're using some post-processing effects like film grain, for example, you've got to turn it off because it looks awful with Auto <laughs> SI. It really does. Um, so I'm curious, would Reshade be able to kind of like go behind some of these effects or, or, or does it have a bit more awareness of the of the makeup of the image? With depth, it would. Um, yes, it would have more awareness of the full image. It would at least presumably have depth and then final color. And then right. it could have a better understanding of things where they're composited thereafter. Uh, usually UI is not in there. 
which is why you see uh, the issues that you see crop up in games uh, when you plug in like adaptive field shader <laughs> into reshade. Um, right. But I think uh, also there could be easily masking done uh, that could be contextual. Like uh, like it would, based upon the game, it could know where like the HUD usually pops up. And then when it sees in a frame that the HUD pops up there, based upon the mask, it could start turning off for that uh, bit of the frame. I think these things are all doable. And I think uh, it would be great to also see one that doesn't, does, just doesn't do upscaling, but also does maybe AA, you know, anti-aliasing. We've seen uh, DLDSR from NVIDIA, but what if there was also like a like a SMAA kind of equivalent, but done with machine learning, so it's even better. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think these are there's this is a big field that there's a lot of use cases that you can imagine.